So Rajesh exchanged exchanged a gift of 360 pounds GBP to South African Rand at a bank. And the exchange rate was one Rand is 0.05 GBP. Now, the bank charged a 1.95% commission, uh, you know, just for helping Raj with everything. Yeah, I can call him Raj. We're on a first name basis, you know, Rajesh on the amount exchanged. So where's Sheldon? Where's, where's Leonard? Hope you guys get the reference. Now, Rajesh then invested 5,000 rands of his gift in a fixed deposit account for one and a half years at a compound interest rate of 6.3% per annum. So exchange rates, finance, there's a whole host of stuff going on here. So let's get into it. 2.3.1, calculate in pounds in GBP, the amount of commission that Rajesh paid. So it was 1.95 percent commission times that 360 pound amount i was gonna write gbp let's not do anything fancy let's uh, okay not not bad so 1.95 percent times 360 pounds that answer is going to be 7.02 pounds convert 360 pounds to rands so easy question there it's just that 360 pounds divided by the 0.05773 don't round off, okay? We only round off at the end. And that is going to give us 6235,93. Uh, we round off at the end, right? If, if you round off here, your final answer is going to be wrong. Only round off at the end, okay? And that's the answer for 2.3.2. 2.3.3. Calculate without the use of a formula the value of the fixed deposit at the end of one and a half years. So 18 months. Show all the steps of the calculation. So it's compound interest. We're going to add the interest to that principal amount. So he decided to invest 5,000 into a fixed deposit. And that's going to be at 6,3%. So at the end of the first year, he gets 315. So we're going to add that 315 back to that principal amount here. The principal amount was 5,000. So that 5,315 we're going to multiply that by 6,3%. Just want to add that it's year one here. And in year two, we add our interest. But the thing is, it's not a full year. So we divide whatever the interest is by two for that full year. Because it's just a half year, right? So we divide by two and we get 167,42. So this was interest for year one. That was interest for year two. So final answer is going to be the initial principal amount, which was 5,000, plus the 315, which is interest from the first year, plus the 167,42, which was interest from the second year. We add these three figures together. So 5,000 plus 315 plus 167,42. And we get a nice fat answer of 5,482 rands and 42 cents. Okay, after 18 months of investment.